Hey, what's up? I want to talk about the map multiplex for a little bit, uh, the trials map this weekend. I've been hearing a lot of people saying that this map's really tough to go flawless on, and I definitely agree, um, but I feel like I've learned a lot about um, the angles and how to play this map, so I just want to share some of the things I've picked up. Um, so I'll start talking about the, like, I'm mostly going to talk about angles and pathing. Um, so, like, I'll start with this spawn. There's, like, three directions you go to the middle, the left or the right. The right I use almost entirely on heavy rounds. Um, I'll talk about heavy round probably at the end of this. So I'm not going to talk about that really. Um, so like, let's say it spawns you right here. A lot of people like to just run straight for this angle. And then you can see the other team coming through here. But I don't like this angle that much because you're like pretty exposed here. And if your whole team's like standing right here, they throw one scatter nade and that's ended around like. So if I see two of my teammates going here, sometimes I try to just trust them and I'll like take a different angle. Um, because I feel like it's way too crowded if your whole team's here. You can like go across, but then you're like risking if they if like the whole team pushes out and stuff. Um so yeah, I don't like this angle that much unless like you know you're just dominating the other team or your teammates like are playing really well off this angle. Um, but like if you do come out here and like let's say you get a pick, then you can push out. You can either try to go here, but then you're kind of open like if the other two are just like waiting, like if they're not hiding. Um, so you can kind of try to do that. You can also, like if you come out and you just stay along this, then you can have this and kind of just like peek in there. And then usually like they'll keep backing up. Uh, and then like sort of like, People usually fight here if the zone's here. So once you get that first pick, you just lock this down. And like I wouldn't go past like here, like try to like if they're going there. You know, whatever. Alright, so we'll talk about the other angle then, the left path. Alright, so I really like this one because you slide out and you have this disgusting head glitch, like I got deleted by someone with a box breathing scout here. You can like barely make yourself barely visible. So you like, or you could even, you could just slide out if you're feeling really confident. Um, cause like a lot of times people just come running out here and they won't be like looking here. Um, so like, you know, you'll shoot whatever you get a pick or something. You can slide across here if you need like a uh, more, an angle more on this side. Um, but like if you get a pick, then you can kind of push up. You have like this a little bit, but it's a little dangerous. Inside over here, this is a little safer. You just have to be aware of if one of them starts to flank out this way. But yeah, so that's how you like close that gap then once you get that pick. And then like a lot of times I'll have like a teammate or two go that way and I'll come this way. So if we get a pick, then I just start running in because I know my teammates are going to be watching this area. They're not going to be out in the open looking down here. So that's more, mostly about like when the zone is in that area. Um, if the zone is out back here or over here, then this angle is obviously still very strong and usually people will still will come with you. Um, so what I do if the zone is like out on this outside, come out here, I'll check because sometimes you'll get a flank um, or like sometimes the whole team will try to push through here. Um, so you move past that, you come over here, I like hop up, stay along the wall and then you kind of just like slowly like peek out. First spots I usually check are like right here, here, and then this spot is where uh, like a lot of people go here. Um, so you like, you know, take your shots or whatever. And then if you're wanting to keep pushing out, you can use this and then you can see there and you can see this. People like to hang around this little box. And I feel like this spot is really dangerous. It's just so easy to like accidentally step out into the open. Um, so yeah, so like if you come out here and like, you know, you get a kill or they're hiding somewhere or whatever Slide across here. It's kind of a big gap. So you gotta be careful. Like if they're all Coming out right here Like they might catch you as you're going across so like this is a big gap It's like something like stompy is good for like any kind of movement to get you across um, But then you have this like you have this angle right here So you can still see like these spots and then you can kind of see there which some teams will be hanging out there and then 
push around here you have like you block or no you're not blocking okay you, you can see there still and then you see this like wide open and like a lot of teams will hang out here because there's a lot of angles from over there um and you can just barely see the zone but usually people will just be like further back behind the wall so you might keep pushing and then you can see a bit more of it but then once you're this far out you got to be aware of the other team pushing in this area too so this is where you want to be ready for some close range engagements as well and you still have to be aware like all back here that spot there's they can still see you but if you manage to make it over here then you can see it like all the way up there and you have pretty good sight on this zone here all right if the zone is here then you have like this angle here um you can see like most of the zone but they get still kind of high behind that pillar so then you're wanting to like slide over here um and then you can see it completely but then you're more exposed here this spot you got to always be aware of that because someone will just jump up there like if you checked five seconds ago and no one was there and then like you know you're look at what it, looking at this all of a sudden someone jumps up and you're dead because everyone's using the scouts right. um so if you're trying to like cap this zone you have to be careful of like nades or any kind of aoe because there's a lot of walls and stuff to bounce or stick things to uh, and you definitely want to be like watching there like depending on where the team is and stuff like that's a spot that they might jump up and so you can just back up a little kind of safe but then you're exposed like over here so you gotta like work around this tiny little wall if you're trying to cap the zone all right i'll talk about uh this spawn you again have three paths you got the left which i mostly just use for heavy middle and then this one for outside I go this way like 90% of the time um, and then you just slide across here and you see the other team coming through there a lot of times and that's why I don't like this angle because like if you're coming through there you're just running out into the open like there's no cover or anything like I don't think it's great to come out from there so you can just like hold this it's really safe and then you can like use this one to get slightly different angles. Um, and like so, I've been seeing a lot of my teammates that I get, like if we come this way and there's like no one here, they just keep pushing and you see the whole team right here then. So then you're shooting here, you have this pillar and you have this wall. And um, so like usually it'll just be everyone will just be shooting long range, you get a pick or whatever. And then either the other two, they'll be both back there they'll be both over there or like split kind of but you kind of just like stay on one wall to like cut off like that sight line because they can just hide behind that box to get the res if they if you get the kill like around here which is where it happens a lot for me um so you want to like slowly push up and then when you get here you gotta be careful that the one teammate's not over there but if that's clear then you can kind of get better sight here and also if they're both like more back here i find that when i push up People are just like kind of out here in the open like i don't know if they're looking at a different angle or whatever i think that's part of the difficulty with this map it's hard to know where you should be looking at all times and especially because the map's so big uh your radar is a bit less useful because people are just like aren't going to be pinging it if they're you know in some weird spot like you know far back but yeah so there'll be like a lot of fights where you'll get like a pick here i have found and you kind of you just like it's hard to like push up this hallway but like if your team's all with you, like you watch each other as you're pushing up. And you can also come through here. I don't use this tunnel a lot, but I've definitely had people make huge plays using it like against me. I just haven't really mastered it. It just feels like really open to moving through here. I'll, I'll like, I'll be like looking here. I'll be like, I'll know they're over there. I'll start pushing up and then I just get melted. Because I'm like out in the open, there's no cover when you're coming through here. So it's just like a risky little passage to take. I don't use it that much. Alright, let me talk about the right path. I don't use this path that much. I was trying it out a little bit, but I just found my teammates are almost always going that way. Or sometimes they'll go that way. If you go this way... and everyone else is over there, you're just taking a longer route to get to the same angle. 
So if the zone is like out here or something and the teams like my team and the opposing team both seem to like playing kind of outside, like some teams like going out here probably more than they need to. Um, so you come out here, this spot right here, it's a risky and you got to jump. You want to try to jump like as close to the left wall as you can, because then you're not exposed yet. If the round has started, like they're all going to be coming out right there as you get here. So what you do is you jump up and then you like peek out and you get information, maybe get a pick or whatever. If they're going that way, then you hug the wall and kind of just like, you can just like watch where they're going to come out. Um, and if they're like staying there, you get a pick. You can try like slide down, but then you're open there as you come down and over here. So just want to be careful if you're pushing like forward past this spot. And also like that spot over, I was showing over there. Uh, you just got to be aware of like a, a lot of different spots, and especially if the rounds like you know, if you're 30 seconds in the round, someone might be like coming up over here. There's like a lot of spots that could pop up out of and they might not be on your radar because they're like really far back. Um, and then like use this wall, this long one. Um, cause you can kind of like, it works for both these zones. Cause like here you use this and you can just like hug the wall and back up a little bit if you need cover, but then you see like the whole zone. And then over here you see this zone. This is like close range though. But you can like put, you can put pressure just by being here because they won't be able to shoot you and they won't know like exactly where you are, what you're trying to do. So you can use these walls to kind of like get in close to the zone if you need to push the objective. Um, all right, I'll talk about like there's like this path here. There's this whole like outer portion of the map that I haven't been using too much. I don't think I just think this map is so big that these are just like. You know, the fringe edges, they're not going to come up that much. Um, but the, it's like really open. So I would just say if you find yourself back here, try to get out of here. Like it's you're just like way too far from anything, from any objective or from like your teammates sight lines. Like. All right, um, let me go talk about the heavy. I started using these lanes for heavy round. So like we spawn, heavy round, I come up this way, I slide, and you can kind of like get some information. I don't linger here, I just slide past and try, like sometimes I can see like if all three are like right here, just so I know. Um, but if I don't see anyone, I'm ready. I slide out here. He, uh, the other team might be coming out the same angle, they'll be like around here. Um, so you check here, and if you don't see anyone, you can kind of check here, but you gotta be careful because then they might pop out there like as you're swinging out. Uh, but like if you saw that all three over there, you can just come out here and then I jump and this platform, it's like risky because it's really small and there's been like, I've had a lot of like 2v2 fights on here. It gets a little chaotic, but then you can see like here and you can keep an eye on all this. You can also see here. All right, and then I'll talk about it from the other side too. All right, so start the round, you come over here, swing out, and you got, you see this here. And if you don't see anyone there, check over here, because sometimes people will hang out around there somewhere. And then if it's clear, you can push up onto the same platform. And then you're really close to the heavy, so if anyone's trying to get it, you can be there ready to stop them. All right, I guess I can talk a little more about this angle. I don't do this that much, but I see some of my teammates do it. Like if the zone's in mid, Teammate will come over here because you can see the other team pushing out through there so you can get shots there. And like if your teammates are down at that angle I've shown earlier, then you have a good crossfire. A lot of pressure on them from different angles. Um, definitely if you're like jumping across like that, you want to have a close range weapon. And then come out here and like, you know, they're not there for whatever reason. You just push up here and you can use this little area good side on the zone and you have some options for like escape routes all right okay one last thing because i almost forgot about this i haven't been using this kind of head glitch but these ramps you can kind of i've seen some people using them um like pretty aggressively so something to be aware of but you have to be careful because if you're trying to do this you're open to this angle completely all right another angle over here Pushing like the outside zones, you can come out like this corner, 
you kind of catch people like right there um and then if they're like swinging around the back you have a uh, sight on them and you can kind of see the zone a little bit um but you have to be careful you can get pushed through here like someone comes out and they're also in your face um also i don't love this spot because this corner like there's these rocks and stuff so if you're like you know in an engagement and you're trying to like line up your shots and stuff and then you get pushed like you'll get stuck on these rocks so i don't like hanging out there that much but just uh angle to be aware of all right that's pretty much everything i can think of regarding this map right now um if there's anything that you've learned this weekend uh that i didn't cover feel free to share it in the comments also if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching uh consider dropping a sub it really helped me out and i'll see you next time